Hi, I'm Magnus. For a long time now, I've sketched on a new workbench, but I haven't decided yet exactly how to do it. So I came up with an idea of making like a test bed. And if you want to see how I made it, just keep watching. I made a simple model in SketchUp to figure out all the dimensions of all the parts and also put together a simple cut list. First I used the jigsaw to rough cut the pieces to more manageable sizes and was careful to mark all the pieces. Then I could use my sliding table saw to clean one end before flipping it around using the stop block on my miter fence. This helped me getting accurate and repeatable cuts but could have just as well been done with a mitre saw or with a sled on a table saw. I marked all the pieces and checked with my cut list to not miss any parts. To assemble the workbench I chose to use dominoes and I carefully marked all the pieces where to cut the mortises. I found that it's better to be dumb proof everything to reduce the risk of doing something stupid. I went with two dominoes for each joint and I think it will be plenty strong for this application. The glue I'm using is an ordinary wood glue and I just make sure to get complete glue coverage in all the mortises as well as the loose tenons. The assembly went smoothly and the dominoes helped lining everything up. It was just to add some clamps and checking for square. In my case I had to make some small adjustments using a clamp diagonally. When the glue had cured it was time to attach the legs. I placed some pieces of scraps under the corners to use as a reference to get the legs flush to the frame. For the same reason, I also added an extra scrap piece to the end of the frame. I lined it up based on my two reference surfaces, and added a screw and then checked for square, before adding a second screw. Because these glue joints will contain partly end grain, I chose to use construction adhesive instead of a regular wood glue. To make the workbench really sturdy, I doubled the legs with some extra pieces to fit exactly between the upper and lower frame. I attach this only with regular wood glue, because I don't want any metal in the legs if I decide to do any modifications later on. Besides, I don't think it's necessary anyway. This was done to all four legs and then it was time to add the lower frame that I attached with construction adhesive and screws. I used the casters to measure and mark for pre-drilling before attaching them with screws. Before adding the tabletop I wanted to add a little more support in the middle to prevent the top from sagging over time. I used some scraps cut to the right length to act as spacers and also a longer piece to get my support flush with the top of the frame. I pre-drilled and countersunk the holes before attaching the stretcher with screws. As a tabletop I went with 90mm MDF that I could cut to size with the track saw. To attach the tabletop I used construction adhesive once again, and my thoughts on this is that it will be strong enough for the use, but at the same time make it possible to exchange the top at a later stage. We will see if that's true or not in the future. So this is going to work as a test bed. Very sturdy on casters and I'm going to include several ideas into this and maybe I'm going to replace some of the ideas with some new ones when I see how the workflow will go around this table. On the top here I'm going to add 
a whole pattern, an NFT style. Maybe I'm also going to build uh, some kind of drawer underneath and also a vise on uh, one of the sides. So this temporary test bed is uh, going to replace my excuse for a work table and I will take it from there.